though I will not come close to being the sworn enemy of lying pomposity, smugness, and groupthink that Tucker Carlson is, I, Mel McGinnis, here on the Sophie Show monologue, can think clearly, reason soundly, and make good judgments regarding religion and politics. The two intersect. They are distinct, but you really can't talk about one without the other because both influence each other. A hurricane is coming. No, I'm not talking about the ones that slam against the coast of the Atlantic Ocean or the Atlantic coast in America or the Gulf of Mexico. A hurricane is being predicted by Jamie Dimon. He's the CEO of J.P. Morgan. It's going to arrive, he says, by September, where inflation and all sorts of other things are going to just spin out of control and you better hunker down. Just thought I'd better give a heads up because Glenn Beck has been talking about this for ages. I know that's an exaggeration, but he's been signaling it for years. He says, it's coming. I don't know the timing, but it's coming. And when I hear Jamie Dimon say something like that, I take notice. And with regard to this hurricane, Glenn Beck says, be aware of three things. The attempt will be to destroy trust. Destroy trust in our institutions. And that's been going on. The Biden administration is accelerating it. They will scare you into silence. And to further their agenda to keep you silent, they will flex their muscle to keep you in place. Who will stand up? It's interesting. There's a movement going around in the churches signing a document called Acts 529, which says to the government, we will not shut down in the event of another pandemic. All for it. Somebody needs to stand up and speak up, especially when this hurricane makes landfall and they'll want to silence the people even more, as well as flex their muscle to keep us in place. I heard Dennis Prager say the left puts trust in the state because they see the state as all good, whereas our government is designed to have the individual exercise rights and be where the power should be. Left wants it in government. Those who are for the Constitution want it to have remain in the hands of the individual. Politically, what can be done? One thing that hasn't been done, that's always on the back burner, but never does anyone follow through with it, is the RAINS Act. What is that? Regulation from the executive in need of security act. That would shut down what the Biden administration is changing into a regime through the bureaucracy it now controls. This would be a yeoman's piece of legislation. But, of course, President Biden won't sign that. Gonna have to wait it out. But to leave you on a piece of good news, wasn't it great what took place there at the World Economic Council during that week in May? Because third world countries stood up while the West, such as Canada, Australia, and America, were all for handing power over to the WHO for them to control what happens when they feel a pandemic is going to erupt. 
African countries, third world countries, said no, you will not do that. Along with Brazil, India, and Russia, they saw the power grab for what it was, and because they did what they did, the WHO will not receive that power, which was going to be handed over to them by those in the West, those who are supposedly for democracy. Us in the West, we Americans, our republic, our sovereignty, we were going to defer it to the WHO. But those third world countries stood up and blocked that aspect of the agenda. What did we do in the meantime? Yeah, well, you need to prepare. Prepare for what may be coming. Um, who knows if it will come for sure, but I'm thinking ahead of time and acting ahead of time so as to be prepared for when that hurricane comes. Well, unlike Tony Kornheiser of Pardon the Interruption, I cannot promise you that I'll do better the next time.